Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to learn about quadratic polynomial problem. If the square of the difference of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial f of x is equal to x square plus px plus 15 is equal to 196 then find the value of p. So we need to calculate the value of p in this case. This p we need to calculate. What is the difference? Difference is minus. Zeros of the quadratic polynomials, what are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial? We will take alpha, beta is the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. So, difference is alpha minus beta, the square, square of the difference. So, square is equal to 196. This is the given data. So, you can take it as first equation. What is given in this question? x square plus px plus 15. The quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. What is a in this case 1? b is equal to p. c is equal to 15. What is sum of the zeros? Equal to alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a. What is minus b by a? What is b value is p. a is 1 p minus p by 1. So, alpha plus beta is equal to minus p. This is second equation. What is product of the zeros equal to alpha beta is equal to c by a. What is c in this case? c is 15. a is 1. 15 by 1. Alpha beta is equal to 15. So, you can take it as third equation. In equation 2, square on both sides. Alpha plus beta equal to minus p. Alpha plus beta the whole square. Square on both sides, no? So, minus p the whole square. What is a plus b the whole square formula? a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, this is the formula. So, you have to write this one, alpha plus beta whole square. So, a is alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta is equal to minus p square is p square. Alpha square plus beta square value, we don't know. Alpha beta, what is alpha beta is 15. So, alpha square plus beta square plus 2 into 15 is equal to p square. Alpha, plus, alpha square plus beta square plus 30 is equal to p square. Alpha square plus beta square, keep it here. So, p square, this 30 goes, this side is minus, this is plus, goes here means minus. So, this is minus 30. This is fourth equation. Now, in equation 1, simplify. How to simplify equation on alpha minus beta the whole square is equal to 196. What is alpha minus beta the whole square? Alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta. So, we have to substitute in this. So, alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta is equal to 196. We don't know alpha square plus beta square value. What is alpha beta value is 15. So, you can write alpha square plus beta square minus 2 into 15 is equal to 196. Alpha square plus beta square minus 30 is equal to 196. Alpha square plus beta square is equal to 30 goes this side. This is minus. So, it goes this side is plus. 196 plus 30. So, alpha square plus beta square is equal to 216. This is equation 5. Now, take equation 4 and 5. 
and simplify. So alpha square plus beta square is equal to p square minus 30. This is fourth equation. Fifth equation is alpha square plus beta square is equal to 216. You see here in this case, alpha square plus beta square is this, alpha square plus beta square is 216. So you have to substitute alpha square plus beta square is equal to p square minus 30. So this alpha square minus beta square, you can write it as p square minus 30 is equal to 216. p square is equal to 216 plus 30. So p square is equal to 256. So p is equal to 256 square. So p is equal to plus or minus 16. p is equal to plus 16 or minus 16. This is the value. This is first method. We will see second method. What is given in this question? Alpha minus beta, the whole square is equal to 196. Alpha beta is equal to 15. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus p. We need to calculate p value. So, you can take alpha plus beta. We have to square it. So, alpha plus beta, the whole square is equal to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta. So, you have to add 2 alpha beta minus it to 2 alpha beta. So, you see here, this plus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta cancel. So, this value comes. After that, this plus 2 alpha beta goes here, minus 2 alpha beta comes here. Next step, alpha plus beta, the whole square is equal to alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta. You see here, this minus comes here, plus is goes here. So, plus 2 alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta is 4 alpha beta. Alpha square plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta is alpha minus beta the whole square. So this is alpha minus beta the whole square plus 4 alpha beta. So what is alpha minus beta the whole square? That is 196. What is alpha beta is 15. We have to substitute in this. Alpha minus beta the whole square is 196. Plus 4 into alpha beta is 15. Is alpha plus beta the whole square. Equal to 196 plus 4 into 15 is 60. This is alpha plus beta the whole square. So alpha plus beta the whole square is equal to 196 plus 60 is 256. So alpha plus beta equal to 256 root After that, alpha plus beta is equal to plus or minus 16. What is alpha plus beta in this case? Alpha plus beta is minus p. So, you have to write alpha plus beta is minus p. So, minus p is equal to plus or minus 16. So, minus p is equal to plus 16 or minus 16. P is equal to minus 16 or plus 16. This is the second method. Which one is easiest for you? You have to follow this. Thanks for watching this video.